Hello students, welcome to solve this classes. Today we will be solving the ISI Amstrad question paper from the year 2017. In my previous video, I said that I by mistake I said that I have solved I'll be solving question number eight and nine in the previous video, but I only solved question number eight. So today, um, as an extra, I'll be solving question number not only question number nine but also question number ten and question number eleven. So total we'll be solving three questions today. So let's begin with solving question number nine. In question number nine, it is said that if alpha, beta, and gamma, alpha, beta, and gamma are the three roots of the equation x cube minus p x plus q equal to zero, then what is the value of the determinant of this very matrix? And four options have been given: p square plus six q, one, p, and zero. So let's solve this question. Now it has been given that alpha, beta, and gamma are roots of equation x cube minus p x plus q equal to zero. So by using the relationship between the roots and the coefficients of the polynomial, we'll come down to the following relationships. Then that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to zero. This is for co f of x square and alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to p. This is coefficient of x negative of the coefficient of x. And the third will be alpha beta gamma. The product of the roots will be equal to minus q this is for the constant constant push so this is the thing now we have to find out the value of the determinant of this very determinant determinant alpha beta gamma beta gamma alpha alpha gamma and beta when we solve this we will get the value alpha beta gamma minus alpha q plus alpha beta gamma minus beta q plus alpha beta gamma minus gamma q so it will come down to 3 alpha beta gamma minus alpha q minus beta q minus gamma cube now we know that alpha q plus beta q plus gamma q minus 3 alpha beta gamma is equal to half of alpha beta alpha plus beta plus gamma into alpha minus beta whole square plus beta minus gamma whole square plus gamma minus delta gamma minus alpha whole square now alpha beta gamma is equal to zero from this very portion alpha beta and gamma is equal to zero so alpha cube plus beta cube plus gamma cube minus 3 alpha beta gamma is equal to 0 this implies that the value of the determinant that we find found out determinant alpha beta gamma beta gamma alpha and gamma alpha beta is equal to 0 so the option D is the correct one so let's move on to the next question in this question in the question number 10 it has been said that suppose the rank of the matrix 1122 1113 and ABB1 is 2 the rank of the matrix is 2 for some real numbers A and B then what is the value of B and these options have been given 1 by 3 3 1 and 1 by 2 so this is from the from matrix and we have to find out and, and is related to the rank and this 
same question has come in the question paper ISI M Math question paper of year 2017 and the question number is 29 we have solved this question you know in a separate video for ISI MA 2017 you can watch that video to find out the solution for this very problem so let's move on to the next question this is question number 11 in 11 it has been asked what is the infinite sum x plus 2x square plus 3x cube plus it goes on to infinity for mod of when mod of x is less than 1 so the let summation up to infinity be denoted by s and x s is equal to x plus 2x square plus 3x cube plus it goes on till infinity and mod of x is less than 1 what we'll try to do we'll try to break this part as per our requirement so we'll first do break it down in the first part x plus x square plus x cube and it will go on till infinity this is one part the second part will be x square plus x cube and this will also go on till infinity and plus x cube plus x4 and it will also go on to infinity we have broken down the entire uh, series into these three series now each of these series is a geometric progression infinite geometric progression so by using the general formula for the summation of a geometric progression we can write it as x into 1 by 1 minus x plus x square into 1 by 1 minus x plus x cube into 1 by 1 minus x and it goes on here you will notice that we have written as 1 minus x since mod of x is less than 1 let's use some more space that has been that is below so if we take so this comes down to 1 by 1 minus x and it is from x x square and it goes on till infinity so it comes down to 1 minus a 1 by 1 minus x into x into 1 minus x and this is equal to x by 1 minus x whole square which is the option c so today we have solved question number 9 question number 10 and question number 11 we'll solve the next questions in the subsequent videos till then keep watching sources classes and sources videos for more solutions and all the best for your upcoming exams thank you very much